Hey guys, this week is another crunch time vlog because it's currently Friday and my shop update is on Tuesday. So I'm scrambling to finish up some tasks and there's some things I'm adding to this shop update like some totes that originally was not gonna be part of this shop update. At least some of them will be, some of the black ones because I've got two boxes of black totes. The others still have not shipped but I got an email from Tote Bag Factory last night being like, oh, the green ones are not the same as the red ones you ordered. Cause I guess the red ones are Tote Bag Factory brand and then the green ones are a third party brand, which kind of explains why they're more expensive than the red ones, but they're just slightly different. They're a little bit smaller and they showed me a picture of like side by side and also overlaid on each other. And I think we're still good to proceed. The only thing I'm nervous about is that the center pocket area is probably also smaller because I've already printed the DTF that goes on the pocket of the totes. And so <laughs> there might be some size problems. There is one way to salvage that would be to cut apart my DTF transfers and rearrange the pieces of it differently. I hope I don't have to do that, but I just decided to proceed with them anyway. And I'm hoping they ship out today because I don't know if they'd be delivered on the weekend. They'd probably come Monday and the shop updates Tuesday. So, um, and that's assuming it actually ships out today. I ordered them Monday night and it was express one day shipping, but like the processing time has been longer than the last time I ordered. Cause last time I ordered, they shipped them like the very next day. And this time though, it's taking a while. So that throws a bit of a wrench into things, but if the rest of the totes go up during the summer update, then so be it. I dyed my hair yesterday. It probably doesn't look that different. Maybe a little less red. Cause I used medium brown instead of burgundy this time. Cause I just don't want as much of the reddish tones, but there's still reddish leftover from my hair from before, but usually when I re-dye it, it's very vibrant red. But I last dyed it three months ago, so it was quite faded. So this doesn't actually look that different, but it does, the color looks a little richer. It looks shinier. That's what I love about henna too, is my hair is just so soft and shiny after I dye it. Uh, that's why I wanted to get to it. Plus the roots, I had like three months worth of roots showing, but also I missed the shine. And I trimmed my bangs a little bit, but I left the edge pieces longer because I'm kind of growing them out to be face framing pieces. So for today's to-do list, I want to skip my mail pickup for Monday, because usually I pick up Monday, Thursday, but Monday's the day right before the shop update, so I'm just gonna skip the pickup, because we'll go with Tuesday instead. I want to start finalizing pricing for some of my new items and start on inventory counts. Also assemble the Luna Moth bundles. That's one thing I totally forgot to put on the list because the sticky note bundles can just be grabbed as I pack orders because it's four sticky notes and then they can share a sleeve, you know, but the Luna Moth bundles are gonna go in their own little pack. And so those are gonna be pre-assembled and I'm probably gonna get Christian's help for that. I also just wanna tidy this room because I've got products sitting everywhere and it's just a mess. And I would also love to start pressing totes. Am I gonna have time for all this? I don't know. I'm gonna get Christian to thread the embroidery machine because the thread came in for the t-shirts, which are for next the next shop update, the summer shop update, because uh, I need him to start working on those now so that they're ready in time. And I'm gonna get him to test stitch both designs with the actual thread colors because I've done tests with alternate colors. I just wanna see it one last time stitched out, see if there's any problems that need to be fixed with the digitizing, you know. And I'm gonna get him to do a few more enamel pin things because I had set aside some B-grade pins for me to pin and I haven't gotten around to that yet. So I'm just gonna get him to pin them. We'll see how much of that I can get done today. That's the list. And then I think tomorrow might be the photography day. I also wrote create listings on Sunday. Sunday's kind of just like up in the air because it depends what I get done between now and then. And Monday I just wrote prep social posts. Cause again, I don't wanna load up Sunday and Monday too much because those tasks are just gonna be whatever's left over from what I don't get done today and tomorrow. Now let me show off the Luna Moth planner pad. I showed it in the last vlog, but I deleted that footage because the vlog was getting long and I was getting sick of editing. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Ooh, it looks so good. It looks a little better than the notepads, honestly, because they were done at different times. I wasn't originally gonna do a printed planner pad. So first I only got the notepads made, but this came out more vibrant. I still love this. This is true to the original kind of like the more muted bluish purpley tone. This one's a bit more pinky. Everything's kind of a slightly different color. Like the two planner or the two sticky notes are a little different. This is probably the most vibrant purple out of everything. So everything's just unique. Everything's its own shade of purple. 
Same with the sketchbooks because I couldn't quite get a color like this. And so the sketchbook color is going to be kind of like the mid-tone of this. Maybe even a bit brighter. It'll be a little mismatched, but that's just the way it is. Okay, I just got through the pricing stuff, although I'm still so torn on the totes because it's like I should be charging a certain amount, but it just sounds high. So I'm a little undecided. <laughs> but I think we're going to get started on the Luna Moth bundles and i just got to show you how much of a mess this place is boxes up here boxes down here all of those there's more there there's boxes for orders folded uh that's what's kind of the huge but <laughs> it just feels chaotic in here i've got christian just kind of opening up these rolls getting them started so that we can just kind of grab from them as we go i'm thinking we'll do a hundred bundles that should be plenty. Oh yeah, I had to bust out the wide lens for this one. <laughs> How far back can I push this? Like, will it stay if I push it like that? No. <laughs> Sis, there's that. Notepad, washies and stickers, but we'll, I'll grab the rest once we start laying some down. Yeah, I just figured to start building stacks of I don't know where we're gonna set everything. <gasps> this table's so big. I mean, I guess it's not practical. I was like, if you stand on that far end and I stand on this end, but then I squeeze it in and out. out for I suppose this one's really miscut hopefully other ones don't have that hidden downwards but <laughs> that looks pretty oh. obvious <laughs> look at this it's sticky notes all over again they're cutting outside the bleed the notepads are over back here now this might actually be easier if we don't do it this way, I'm realizing because the sleeves that these go into are pretty tight. So we might be better off like loading the planner pad into the sleeve and then everything else. Okay. Well, I mean, we we'll see. We'll it. try it this way. We can probably start here then. There's some sticky notes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what's all in here. So like that? Yeah, and there's also some stickers. Oh, stickers too. So that's pretty flat, so it should all fit. I wanna see how hard it would be to try to slide all this in. I know the stickers are not on here yet, but I just wanna see. It's not that bad, so the washi's a bit tall. Yeah, that's actually not so bad. the stickers are two kinds. We got the front view Luna Moth, or back view as I call it, and the side view. And so each bundle is going to get both. I'm trying to confirm that that's everything. Planner pad, notepad, sticky notes, stickers, washi, and enamel pin. I think that's everything. debating whether or not to seal it with the Luna Moth washi. You know what, I'm actually maybe not going to because this is a 1.5 inch washi. I think I'd rather seal it with the two inch washi. That way it's more secure. And it still kind of matches the Luna Moth vibes. It's yellow.
They're all done. That's not quite all of them. There are some in that small box over there. We couldn't quite fit two side by side, so eventually they start getting a bit of a peak, but I want them flat so everything doesn't go sliding around too much. So I would put rolls of bubble wrap to even it out every once in a while. And it worked. And I know stuff's just gonna move around in shipping. In fact, this sticker has already moved over off of the notepad. But I just, I just wanna keep them flat packed, okay? I don't want them on their side. But let me show you the results of our embroidery from earlier. So this one's a little bit messed up because the bobbin ran out when it was doing the nose. Normally I would have swapped out the bobbin, but we left it because it was just a test. But look how cute! Those are the proper colors for the bunnies. And this is the shirt it's gonna go on. <gasps> so cute. I want to make just a final couple tweaks. I'm gonna make the eye patch a little wider and the cheeks. Just increase the pull compensation a bit because they are supposed to be a little rounder. They're very oval right now. They should be slightly more circular. So I will need to do a final tweak, but it's just, it's so cute. And then, where's the ducky? Where's the ducky? So these are the proper thread colors, but it's gonna go on a blue shirt. Ducky! Doesn't look that different because the threads I was using to test were not that different. There was a lighter pink and then there was a really dark green used for the face details. This time I used the light brown, the same brown that's being used for the bunnies. Because when I was doing my test before, I didn't have the proper colors in yet, but... That's what they look like with the proper colors, yay. We haven't stitched the ducky onto a blue shirt yet, so I don't know how it's actually gonna look on the shirt yet, but I can tell it's gonna be cute. There's all the green test bunnies. <laughs> also, this was just delivered. It's thermal tape, because I have some already, but it's really thin. I have two of these rolls, which came with my pressing pillows, and I thought, oh, I don't need the tape. No, I do want the tape. When I was doing my tests with this the other day, it wasn't sticking very well because it's just so skinny. So I just wanted to get some thicker stuff. Look, I can have both rolls on there at the same time. It's a genius design. You can have one fat roll or two individual ones. This was my first order packing tape dispenser before we got Rick. And now it's back in use. Today feels like it's going by so fast. The test stitch thing like I was there almost the whole time because I was curious how everything was going. <laughs> like, that cut into my day a little bit. Yeah, she helped with that. Oh yeah, I gotta give him the B grades. Well, maybe I'll give him that tomorrow. Because he might be starting on supper soon. So yeah, paused my pickup. Posted a TikTok. Price products and start inventory. Well, I didn't start that. I'll put like a circle here. Like, it needs to be checked off. Assemble Luna bundles. Yeah. So we just need to tidy the room and press the totes. Just that, just those two teeny tiny tasks. Also, don't ask why I'm using this instead of one of my weekly planner pads. <laughs> it's because I had like a mega list. And then last night I just wanted to take what was left and assign it to certain days. So I just did it right next to it. But I suppose that could have gone in my weekly planner. But yeah, I'm gonna get some of the stuff out of the way so I have room to work. Plus it would be nice, nice to clear off one of these counters. Like maybe this little table right here. It'd be nice to have extra space just for maneuvering the totes. The, the art table is cleared off, so I've got lots of space to work, but I think I want a little more space. And I'm thinking of putting the heat press directly on the table instead of on its stand. The planner pad boxes I might leave out because I do want to go through them to quality check them. Just a quick once over, check down the sides, look for miscuts, because I did find a handful of miscuts just while doing the bundles. So I want to go through the rest of them because if there's a decent amount of them, I'll sell them as B grades. I just realized I have to cut the DTF transfer rules, so I shouldn't have asked Christian to help me move the heat press up here already, because I could really make use of the full table length. <sighs> so I ended up just putting everything over here. I just pushed it out of the way because 
<laughs> it's still accessible here and there's no point in making a bunch of shelf space if a good chunk of this is just gonna sell. Fingers crossed. <laughs> now the totes are staying out because I'm gonna be using those tonight. These will stay out so I can quality check them. But a lot of cleared out space. That's what reminded me I have to cut the DTF transfers because that's what's in that box. And now to clear this off, I'm probably just gonna move a bunch of that stuff onto this table. <laughs> Maybe I should actually put some of it away because I do need this table cleared off before the shop update. And would you look at that? It's mostly cleared off. I did it. Woohoo! Just gotta clear one more thing off. Oh, there we go. All right, should we place bets on how many stickers are gonna be in here? And that includes UV DTF. Okay, let's go. So far, none, but maybe they're at the bottom. Okay, there's none. I'm a fool. Maybe they know they've sent me some recently. <laughs> there were a bunch in the last order. And honestly, I don't need them at all. So it's for the best that they didn't include any. It's tough to see, but it says Bailey J, Bailey J, Bailey J. And there's more where that came from. I filled in some blank space on my other gang sheets with more of those. I mean, technically I don't have to cut any if I want to start pressing because I do have some pre-cut. Oh my God, look at all that. Look, three rolls in there. Plus three more. Ugh, so heavy. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll actually use up what I have before I cut up some more. I'm not sure how I wanna, how I wanna lay this all out. I don't know what I'm doing. I kinda wanna give the reverse fold another chance. This bottom one, it is the way I like it where the front of the pouch, I'm fold it over, meets the front of the bag. But as I was saying in my last vlog, it's nice to put the design on the side where the gusset isn't folded to, because this folds back and creates a really big crease. So this is the cleaner side, which works the way I want it to for this bag. This one, it's the opposite, but I still taped it to the crease side. I just want to try one more time. I just want to see what it's like, because I really do prefer it like this, where the pouch comes out, and if you're wearing it, the pouch is against your body. So I'm going to give it one more try this way. <laughs> still preheating so I'm just taping some stuff down but I don't want to tape down too much because what if I end up doing the other side of the bag I hate it when the pockets all folded because then I have to press that out Ooh, this one's the way I like too Ooh, see no crease at the bottom because it's folded in the other way <laughs> and then I have my little measurement tools <laughs> Kiki we don't want your fur all over these bags thank you I got my sticky notes to measure how far from the edge the flowers are, and then a backing card to measure distance from the bottom. pillow inside the tote which is slightly annoying to get in and out but I kind of like it because then I can make sure it's centered with the design instead of just leaving it up here and trying to feel if I've got it on the pressing pillow but then am I putting it back in the pressing pillow for press number two maybe not <laughs> no maybe
So this is the one that had the crease on the front. You can see it's still there a little bit. Great, I'm still having this debate with myself. I kind of want to do it this way. Like <laughs> in the last vlog, I was like, I'm just gonna press it on the creaseless side. Now I'm like, no, always go opposite to the pocket. Especially because some people in the comments agreed that they like this way better. So I'm like, ooh, maybe I should prioritize it that way. Now I put a box here <laughs> so that for the pocket, this has some support. It doesn't try to just slide out of the heat press. Because I can't have this in there too much. I need all the bulk out and I want the zipper out. And I'm not going to tape these down. I'm just going to eyeball the placement. And press. Okay, it's past seven o'clock. This is all I've gotten done. So it's not much, but I'm finally getting into the swing of things. And supper's just about ready, so I'm gonna eat that and we're gonna watch Destin or Project Fear tonight. So I might call it quits for now. So I'm not nearly as far as I thought I would be, but we'll make it work, we'll make it work. One thing I could do is train up Christian on how to do these totes, although we're gonna have to move the heat press out of here because this is where I need to do product photography. Although I am having a lot of fun doing it myself, at least for now. Maybe I'll get sick of it, but for now I'm really enjoying it. It's now Saturday. My hair looks a little silly, but I want it out of my face. So I have my bangs pinned back and my hair itself is pinned back halfway. I never use these little clips because they're really only good for half up hair. So maybe I should do it more frequently, but this this did look cute before I pinned the bangs back, but they must be back. And I decided I am going to continue on with the bags today. And I'm also going to do the bulk of the vlog editing today. I'll just edit as much as I can this evening. And then tomorrow can be the photography day. So it's kind of like I'm swapping the two days. Because that way I don't have to move this DTF transfer setup. It's all set up here. We can just leave it and then move it out of the way when I need to do the product photography. And if I don't get through all the bags, I can get Christian to do them. And he can probably just do that in the embroidery room because that's where he would have the most counter space while I do my product photog. But yeah, we'll see how much I get through today. I'm getting the hang of the process, so I should be a little faster. <laughs> the remainder of the totes still haven't shipped. So I don't expect them to ship out until Monday at the earliest. So they're not gonna be here in time. But I do have the black ones for both Strawberry and Luna Moth, but the two-tone ones are gonna have to wait. And someone suggested doing them as a pre-order because I technically could have them ready like a week after the shop update happens, but I don't really know what they're gonna look like. <laughs> I can press one red one because I have one red blank, so I can put a strawberry on it, but we don't know what the Luna Moth ones are gonna look like, especially since apparently the, the lime totes are a bit smaller than the red ones. So I don't even know if the design's gonna fit on the same way. Like I said, I'm gonna have to probably cut the DTF transfers and rearrange the sparkles and things on it. So, uh, I mean, I might not have to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I could, I could do a rough mock-up and be like, this might not be what it's gonna look like. <laughs> I don't know. But at least the strawberry one, I could get a proper photo for it because I have one red blank. Now, in terms of the product packing station, I was thinking one of these bins that have pillowcases in it could have the totes. Like maybe we could have one row of Luna Moth, one row of straw, but at least for the, the black totes. Get over here. Yeah, I might go at this for a while and then after I eat, I might do a TikTok live. 
and that'll be my day really <laughs> until I go to edit. Hopefully this vlog's not too long. I might keep it short. Even if I have a lot of footage, I might trim it down to keep it <laughs> short-ish so I don't have to spend too much time editing. I mean, that was like the intent of the Monday vlogs is they would be shorter, maybe like 25 minutes instead of 40 minutes, but sometimes they still end up being long anyway. <laughs> well, while that's heating up, I can start taping some transfers onto the bags. Maybe let's switch to some Luna Moth. Yeah, I feel like anyone that has the front crease needs to be pre-pressed. Christian just came down to see if I needed help with the totes, and so I gave him a crash course on how to do it so that he can work on it tomorrow. And now for Luna, let's see if I can get away with my same measurement tools. So the white is the lowest part and the highest part, so that should be what I measure to maybe. But this might also be taller than Straub. Yeah, it is. It goes higher and lower than strawberry. So maybe we should use this with the purple sparkle. Sticky note for the bottom. Now can I get away with sticky note for the sides? Oops. Yes, I can. This one is gonna be tricky because like if it's slightly rotated, I feel like you would notice because of the symmetry of the wings. Like should I be measuring the wings from the top? I would need something bigger. I cut one of my thank you cards to the size I need, and that way it can bridge across both wings just to make sure that it, you know it's not rotated at all. So that's our new measurement tool. <laughs> this still looks cute, cropped. Ooh. Ah, this blue tape sometimes just rips. Well, why you gotta do that to me? And then I gotta refine the edge. Okay, setting up for TikTok. I moved that camera over there. I took this one off because it's just in the way. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. We were bonking our heads on it yesterday. It's just one little clamp to take the whole thing off. <laughs> the question is, is this too zoomed in? Well, it is what it is. <laughs> I could put it on this tripod to have it a little further away, but that's fine. Let's get this back up and running. I've got a bunch that are ready to peel here. There's just the fronts put on, not this, the pouches. And I'm tempted to also pre-press a few because I feel like pre-pressing them is not that interesting for a live stream. I just pressed a bunch of Luna Moth totes on the live stream and now we're testing this. <laughs> okay. I want the zipper hanging out, but I need as much of this inside as possible. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> the zipper's a little close. It doesn't seem like it melts, but you never know. Whenever you k call Kiki and Midna baby, do you think they mentally start singing, don't call me baby? <laughs> yes, because I sometimes sing that out loud to them. I'll be like, don't call me Keek, don't call me baby. <laughs> oh, I didn't put that inside. Well, okay. It's gonna be a little tighter. I could turn it sideways because it's a small design. I technically could go like that. Now I probably, like, <laughs> the fact that I'm pressing the opposite side, like, is it okay that the other transfer is just chilling on the back? Probably. Now again, I don't want to be too close to this seam because I want it to really press down, so I've got to be up a little bit from the seam. I just wonder if the other transfer should be fully on, like I shouldn't have it, the back side transfer, which is technically the front side, overhanging like that. But also I have the handles in here. Don't know if I should have the handles in there. Okay. We gotta let that cool. <laughs> it's like flat as paper right now. <laughs> as much as I hate pre-orders, I might do a little mini pre-order for these just because I will have these like a week after the shop update. The thing is though, I might not have a photo of the green ones. Because I can't, until I have one in hand, I can't guarantee what the green ones are actually gonna look like based on them not actually being the same dimensions as the red ones. So I don't know if the design's gonna be fully within the pocket or if it's gonna be some elements on the other side of the pocket. So how am I supposed to mock up? I can mock up both and be like, it's gonna look like this or like this. <laughs> oh, exciting. Ooh, oh, that looks good. Oh, that does look good. That does look pretty darn good on the natural color. Hello, Melanie. Oh, I took my shoes off because my feet were getting sweaty, but I need them for the cushion. See, like, is it okay for me to just flip this? I might put another parchment underneath just in case. Or like this, I've got this uh, Teflon. 
I just really, I can test without that at another time, but I don't want to ruin this one because this is like, this is my only, my only red tote. I need this for the product photos, you know? <laughs> I can't afford to not have this in good condition. Well, it's pretty cute. Feely J on the back. And a look at it with the regular vlog camera. This is so adorable. I love it. I love it. So cute. Gusseted bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and I just finished editing the vlog up until the point you're seeing. It's 8 p.m. And the vlog is over 30 minutes. I think that's sufficient. I know it was a lot of tote stuff, but what can you do? That's what I've been doing. And tomorrow's just gonna be product photography, which is boring to vlog, plus like editing all the photos. But I am gonna proceed with doing these as like a pre-order. It's like only a one week period, but I am gonna do that. And I might have a couple possibilities for mock-ups for the green trim ones. The thing is, I don't know exactly which version you're gonna get. So <laughs> if you go with the, the green Luna Moth one, you're going to take a bit of a leap of faith or you can just wait until I have proper photos for it and then order. It's up to you. <laughs> and so if you got one of these plus other items, none of it would ship until it's all available. So it will just push your order packing back by a week or so, possibly less depending where you are in the order queue and depending when these get here. When are they gonna ship? Will they ship on Monday? <laughs> I don't know. But I only have 72 coming in each color. So there's not really that many. That's all I'm gonna put up for the pre-order is what I have coming in. I guess if they sell fast, I could order even more. But when would those get here? Nobody knows. But I'm ending the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.